Hi. I would like to talk to you about something that's on my mind. Um, just think, just thinking about um, women who are mothers and well, mothers that put their uh, own children in danger. I mean, by staying with a partner that's abusive and. I mean, I know there are re reasons why uh, one would would stay with those partners. I mean, I mean, sometimes some of those women came from from um, abused homes themselves. I mean, they think that. Uh, a man's abuse is the only kind of love they'll ever know. And it's like, like, uh, like all their lives are groomed just for ple pleasing a man and just, uh, now it begins with ple pleasing the father and just, uh, they feel like they'll ne never measure up until they until they can um, ple please a man and just stuff. But is it worth um, in endangering your children? I mean, just to try, try, try to be a uh, pleaser a man and just stuff. Uh, who, who, who can only love by abusing you? I mean, just, I just, uh, I mean, I don't want to come down on women so hard. I mean, I mean, they're going to have to answer for their choices before God. Just, uh, like, like everyone else, I mean, because um, God, God gave those women children for, for a reason. I mean, just to to uh, raise them and love them and bring up in the ways of God. Just uh, Whether it, whether it be like uh, like physical or uh, emotional or spiritual or anyway anyway you can uh, you, you can call call abuse. It's, uh, I mean, I mean. I mean, God, God made you, God made you as the parent to be the child's protector. I mean, I mean, take, taking care of children is the responsibility that God, God has entrusted unto you. I mean, that this is His gift to you, and he, but um, that you that you can have a child, but this gift is not to be taken lightly. Like, I mean, we should do everything to honor God for our, our whole being. And just, I mean, because we're, I mean, because we're all, all servants of God in one way or another. Only those who are born again are the ones who can call themselves the sons and daughters of God. I mean, <coughs> excuse me. I mean, God is hoping that you would um, 
that you be the one to raise a child to um, godly standards. I mean, I mean that he that he would come to know um, Jesus Christ as his Lord or her Lord and Savior. Just. Uh, I know it's going to break your heart. I mean, because this means you, you're going to have to make a sacrifice. Uh, where are your children to be be the sacrifice for your own uh, for your own pleasure? I mean, I know pe people are um, so go gung ho about. Um, protecting life that's in the womb, how about we protect the life that's out of the womb, you know? I mean, because otherwise we're raising up children for slaughter, and that, I think, also puts blood on our hands as much as um, killing a child that, that's in the womb. I mean, I mean, I can never know what it's like to have a child grow inside. Just, uh, that's that's my limitation as a man. So I can't fully uh, comprehend what 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 it would be like. Men need to uh, not treat not treat children as uh, things we can sacrifice I mean, for our own personal pleasure. I mean, I mean, children are looking up at you, and, and they're they're picking up behaviors from you and from from your interactions, for, uh, from these people that you associate with. In front, of, I mean, it's like I mean, a child ends up learning what he li lives through. It's only by um, God's revelation that um, that ch children can defy this um, I mean, I mean God, God doesn't intervene in the child's life to sh show, show that child what what is the better way I mean because God does write write that in our hearts. I mean, the those who um, the, those who don't know the law end up doing what the law says. They become a law unto themselves. Who has the law of God written in their hearts, and, and their conscience also bearing witness, and, and their thoughts. Meanwhile, um. Accusing or excusing uh, her actions. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to share with you in this video. So, have a good day, and God bless you.